I think what I'll do, I'll play, we'll start with a random viewer. So anyone who's challenging me will have a chance to get a game. Please challenge me to non-correspondence. So anything, like ideally five minutes or less, but 10 minutes, I guess is still okay. Uh, so I'm gonna decline all the challenges with no, no set time. Okay, so a uh, random challenge. Hey, playing XX Lucky Star, who subbed earlier. Good luck to my opponent. Um, obviously, there is a rating disparity, but I'll try and be instructive. Maybe I'll play. Do I play like super aggressively? Let's do it. England Gambit time. So this is a more like serious time control. 10 plus five. So my opponent will have time to, to think, but I'll have time to explain things and chat with the, the chat. Okay, so I'm playing, I did a video where I showed this like this early bishop c5 line, but I'm playing kind of the OG uh, way of playing the England Gambit. I attack the pawn twice. Um, basically attempting to provoke bishop f4. Burble, thanks for subbing. At tier 1. Okay, so we're going to get the main line. So queen b4 is a basically a triple fork. I'm guaranteed now to win b2. I think based on the amount of time my opponent's using, it's clear that this may be a new opening for them. Um, so I'm going to try not to say anything too revealing. Is this a wooden shield? Or it's, it's a try... A tr What's a word that starts with try? trident or tricycle or triceratops so white can defend two out of the three things mainly the bishop and the king oh a lot of suggestions trifecta or triangle i don't think this is a, a shape of a triangle even though there's three lines or not like fully connected in a triangular triangular way. Okay, so bishop d2, that was probably the best move. Now I'm hitting the rook. Um, so keeping some initiative. Also hitting the pawn. Yeah, not much to... Okay, so knight c, c3 is the best move. Uh, this is also prep. I was going to say not much to... Um, to think about because it is still prep um i'm kind of disappointed my opponent didn't play bishop c3 after which i would play bishop b4 and there's there's some fun traps uh against that but bishop b4 continuing to make threats actually every move this game i've been making threats starting with move one like e5, I threatened to take, then I threatened the pawn, and then I trifecta triangle. And I take and attack the rook, and then I attack the knight. So I'm playing a lot of moves, like developing with attack. I will say uh, this opening, and even this position, is objectively bad for black. But uh, sometimes you have to do bad things to, to have fun, I guess. Oh no, my queen. So this move is a, a Mon Hamilton variation. I think it's like the unofficial name. If you search for unbeatable opening on YouTube or Google, you'll probably find a Mon's picture. Um, and even though this position is like, 
if you turn on the engine, it'll say like plus three for white. But it's interesting because Bach gets two minor pieces for the queen. White's a bit tied down, knight's pinned. I think Amman usually takes with a bishop on e5. For those who don't know, Amon Hamilton is a grandmaster. Uh, Chaspra have a massive audience on Twitch and YouTube. Also kind of my roommate, even though I haven't seen him in like about a year. We we technically share the same apartment. Um, and he played this this opening in a tournament game. Like a serious grandmaster it was like a grandmaster norm tournament. And he got to a drawn position, ended up losing after like over a hundred moves. Um maybe I'll I'll have to show that game after this game. But E4, okay. Um makes sense. I'll keep I'll keep Leads attacking six stuff. Months high. Now I'm attacking the pawn. So every move this game has either been like a threat or a capture. Like knight takes e5 is threatening knight c4. Uh, e4 defended against that. But I'd really like to make use of this pin before white castles. f3 is very solid. f3 could be weakening though. Because I'm the only player with a dark sword bishop. d5 comes to mind. Now I should probably castle and then later look to play d5. Good sir, haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Schooling good to see you. Taking a toll. Welcome back. Oh, how do you do the I'm conflicted here. I think I will. Playing d5. Castling may have been the safer move. Kind of opening the center with both kings still uncastled. But the threats, I'm, I'm just keeping the initiative basically. So I'm learning to probably take twice. I'm not too scared about takes takes queen e2 because the knight would still be defended. I could still castle. Also, thank you to Matt Rob, 91. Hype for for six months. And er, Ermo.com213, subbing a tier one. And rookie mistakes, welcome back. Subbing for 16 months. Yeah, thanks everyone. Appreciate the support. So white's under under pressure here. Actually, I'm I'm just realizing I didn't realize it when I played pawn d5, but there's a positional idea just to play pawn d4, cementing my bishop, which is not going to happen. Okay, so center is open, no more center pawns. The main goal is to get the rooks to the center files. I might be threatening knight e3. It's a cool looking move. Hitting the queen. It's like a nice square that's not defended in white's territory. And if queen e2, I'm assuming I got two moves in a row, but like knight e3, queen e2, take on c2, if king runs, I keep attacking the king. If king runs to d1, I could potentially play bishop f5. I'm having fun here. Oh, but white's trying to have fun too. So c6, uh, I think is just the simplest move. White's trying to skewer my knights. I mean, this knight's still defended by the bishop. 
But yeah, let's just play C6. I'm still keeping up my streak of attacking something or capturing something every move. And thank you to two more uh, Prime subs, Llama Attack and 13 Philip 24. Appreciate it. Okay, so the rook moved back. So I essentially won a tempo there because c6 was a more kind of beneficial move for me. Uh, rook b3 kind of ties down my knight. But yeah, I think I'll leave the bishop there for the time being. I'll just castle. Castling would be the first move that doesn't make an immediate threat. But the idea would be to bring the rook in. And I think knight here is too risky. Because I leave the bishop undefended and e-file could be a problem. If I got two more moves in a row, it would be checkmate. The idea is to play rook e8 and knight d3 double checkmate. Never mind. Oh, white just uh is just gifting me a a bishop. Yeah, it's easy to assume the, the c4 square is defended, but the knight's pinned. And to put icing on the cake, white can't even get away with this, because when I take back I hit the queen. So there's no time to actually win the knight. Oh, I'm going to win the knight too. So much icing. So now I have... Oh, now Lee Chess is saying I'm up material. Because I have a bishop, another bishop, a knight, and a pawn for the queen. But in general, like three minor pieces are usually much preferable over a queen. As long as they're coordinating. Uh, pieces are actually really nice here. Let's do two's targeted. I'm about to have four minor pieces for the queen, I think. I'm realizing if white castles, I'm going to have... I'll have this fork or that fork. Okay. So here I'll take... The queen, the queen's almost trapped. I guess the queen has uh, a1 or c1, but it doesn't have the light squares. So queen a1, yeah. So that hits the knight. I'll counterattack the king. Yeah, I'm trying to calculate the best way to convert this. So I have to do something about this eventually. Um, I guess white has a few choices here. But okay, knight e4, I'll, I'll take and... Yeah, when the pawn keeps checking the king. If king f1, I take the knight with check. King f2... Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, if knight wasn't attacked, f5 would be nice, but... Okay, so... Oh, so I, I won the exchange when I had the three miners for a queen. So now I have two miners and a rook for a queen. But the position's so, so nice. Because um, the king is, is still a target. Maybe I'll keep... Rookie one's coming. Let's see where the king wants to go. If it moves here, then the rook's stuck. If it moves here, then maybe there's some mating ideas. And thanks for subbing. Cora. Oh, the name sounds Italian. Cora Dopacelli. I just realized my opponent might end up flagging too. Okay, so I could play g5 here, like trying to 
orchestrate a mating knot. Also making some luft. But now, so now I'm controlling all the squares around the king. And all I need to do is check it with a knight. So this is an idea. Or check it with the pawn. Okay, white wants to check me. It's nice, everything is pretty much defended. Except g5, but it's a hard pawn to attack. Yeah, rook f1, good move. Thanks for the games, Eric. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's it's Gari. Oh yeah, we played we played so much earlier. We played hand and brain earlier, actually. Shout out to Gari. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream too. Oh, Danny's streaming. Oh. Well, maybe I'll have to raid Danny soon. Haven't seen him stream in a while. Okay, let's um let's figure out how to wrap things up here. I mean, it's an awkward setup for white. I I think I'll just bring the other rook in. Going for rook d2. And then I'll target g2. Yeah, even if I'm not like, mating immediately, um, I am up material. Rook F2, good move. Hmm. Let's just play this. We're going to trade rooks, otherwise I have rook d1. So now this defends this, defends this, defends this, defends this, attacks this. Nice kind of chain. Oh, now I have this move. I'm guaranteeing to win something, something delicious. Hey, it's Had Lokan. my first chess lesson nice. today. Thanks for getting me into chess. Oh, that's great to hear. Thanks for the five dollars, Lorcan. Yeah, my opponents may be inspired by some of my previous stalemate achievements, but uh Gaga Gugu nine months of TM's chess. Oh. Congratulations. The Dark Mock rises. Now a baby. Well, thanks for the game. XX, Lucky Star. 7XX. Uh, that was a fun one. This is, um, I mean, this is kind of the main prep in the England Gambit. And if you check this position, okay, it's pretty common in the Lee Chess database, a few thousand games. But then the Masters database, there's one game by Amon Hamilton himself. Um, and this is a game, it was played in St. Louis. I think Amon was just kind of trolling, but it's interesting. Like two minor pieces are, they can surprisingly put up a good fight against a queen. And this is a super long game. Um, so I'm just zooming through it. But uh, yeah, Black just kind of held held his own, like gave some material, and then at some point, yeah, then it was Queen versus Rook, but Black had close to a fortress. This is a super long game. <laughs> Um, at some point, it was a table-based draw. Maybe here. Yeah, there's some like crazy table-based draw. 
But uh, anyway, like if you play the England Gambit, like this is probably one of the the better practical lines to go for. And then, like as white, usually what you should do is just castle as quickly as possible. So e three might be a better move. Yeah, like e three, you still control the square, castle, and then get the knight um, out of the pin. So anyway, that might be YouTube worthy of playing, playing the unbeatable England. Um, Cause I don't have, I don't really have any videos where I go for this line. So if you're watching in the future on YouTube, um, I usually leave a link to like, any game I play in a YouTube video, I'll leave a link in the description for people to, to analyze basically this analysis board. I also leave links to my Twitch channel and Twitter and Instagram and other fun things.